hey guys welcome back guys i hope you're doing fine my name is eunice in case it's your first time this is actually pride you're so much welcome i just share with you guys here my life how i do it here in my village so um yesterday i shared with you a video of how to make how we make um condensed milk candies like sweet 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 treats guys yeah uh we do it in our local but it comes out really nice so i shared it and then i one of the things that we used there was condensed milk and then the other one was evaporated milk and um some butter so in case you missed that video ensure that you go back to the previous video and watch meanwhile i'll drop the link here in the comment section you could also check it out and watch and along the way people are asking how did you make the condensed milk at home because i noticed most of you just buy so here is now the thing i'm going to show you how to make a condensed milk and also the evaporated milk at the same time so i'll start with the in fact i could just do the condensed milk and then i i try to explain how to do the evaporated milk it's not very far from the condensed milk so here we're going to have milk and some sugar and my pan right here i choose a thick pan for a reason and just here mingling stick so what we're going to do now is condensed milk so i'll just add the milk into the pan it's cold milk oops my eyes <laughs> the reflection from the sun so this is just milk then i'll add in some sugar you make sure that the sugar is much though this one is i'm not going to add it all it's too much for this because it's just a cup of milk so i could add in like maybe like that quantity yeah then you mix it thoroughly until there are no particles beneath like under the saucepan So for people who do ice cream, for people who do those kind of candies, you know very much that you need condensed milk along the way. Yeah, so this is just how you do it, the easiest way, if you cannot access it in your markets. Like for us here, they don't sell by the way. You make it your own way if you want to use it. Well, I have my newly hatched chicken right here. <laughs> ah, I've kept them for a while, for today and tomorrow, I think. You know, so our milk is right here. I think you notice there's no boiling here. Yeah, and that's how it should be. So guys i think you notice how it's turning and also the color the thickness is coming it's not that watery milk which we started with anymore yeah so it's just going to be here like this for some little more time until the thickness increases meanwhile if you're keen enough you're going to notice the size has also reduced actually it's going to come back to like half of the liquid we started with yeah, it's going to turn like you have what we started with. Meanwhile, the thickness keeps increasing. So let's leave it here for some little more time. Meanwhile, our condensed milk is on the way. <laughs> guys i think you notice the thickness is just on point now 
I can tell you the hardest thing here is to maintain heat on this charcoal stove. It's not very easy. That has been my hardest challenge. <laughs> so when you try this out, let me know what is your hardest, like what was the challenge for you while doing this? Because mine was to maintain heat, to keep it low, but I think I tried really well. So we'll just carry this off already. So guys the difference between this and evaporated milk is that when you're making evaporated milk you will not add in sugar but you're going to ensure that you maintain the heat the same way like I did all you're going to do is just to put your milk in a pan preferably a thick one so that's when um, to avoid like something like should I say burning under the pan yeah to avoid burning under the pan so you just put your plain milk and you put it with low heat to simmer you leave it to simmer all through you can do a few mixing here and there not for so long you don't have to mix for so long yeah but it will still come out perfect like this and there we go so just like that you have your homemade condensed milk so you can go ahead and do your ice cream you can go ahead and do your candies and whatever any baking that needs condensed milk there we go just like that so let me know where you watch this from and if, if this was helpful in any way because a lot of you reached out in the comment section of the previous video which i've dropped the link down here so you could also check out how we used it in making the candies so that you could try it out if you didn't know how to use it meanwhile thanks a lot for watching i think i'm going to make something with this and i'll surely share this in the next video so be sure to watch out for our next video guys thanks a lot for watching my name is Eunice. in case you're not subscribed ensure that you turn on your notification bell of course right after subscribing to this beautiful channel guys thanks a lot